night about it and when I first came to Burwell there was this energy the possibility that would come out of a week you know you never knew what was going to happen it was a surprise every single day and it was like that this week I felt just for me personally every day was was new it was like reborn there were lots of possibilities where it could go where it might go where it did go um, and so I'd just like to thank this class because uh, you were just the best bunch of people to hang out with and, and, uh, and swap ideas. I don't know how much you can, you can just kind of swap ideas really when you're in a class like this because they're all so wise anyway. Uh, uh, we're going to play two pieces. Um, the first one is a, is a tune that I, I wrote it uh, in the early days of March 2020 when we were all at home, um, and the future was uncertain of what was going to happen. And uh, we live in the countryside, just outside of Armagh. Um, and it, when you're living in the countryside, especially, I'm sure you remember the weather. It was just so fine, um, days and weeks of sunshine. So myself and my two boys, Uline and Emil, we every morning we would take off on bicycles or a hole in the hedge and as the crew flies it's about a half a mile three quarters of a mile to a place called the Navin Fort and the Navin Fort is otherwise known as Awan Maka it was the home of the King of Ulster King Connor and the legends of the Red Branch Knights of Coo Holland um, and so we would just walk you know we would just take off at a picnic sometimes and uh, and the boys got to know you know they, they could do that walk without me but we were, this particular day, I remember it very well, we were climbing up through a big sweeping field full of long grass up towards the Navin. And we sat down for a, for a rest just before we went up onto the mound. And Emil was very tiny, he was, you know, eight, three, three years old. And he, I remember him looking up at me and saying, are we lost? And I said, uh, no, no, how do you mean lost? And he said, I mean, are we lost? And I said, well, you can see where our house is. It's, it's just, you see over there, he says, I know where the house is, but are we lost? <laughs> <laughs> That's quite, quite a profound question. And, uh, and then suddenly I remembered one of the most effective things that I read uh, maybe a decade ago, it was, it was it was gifted from a poet called David White, who was a Yorkshire man. He's living in America and he was using poetry in big multinational uh, companies to kind of, I don't know, to, to humanize these big corporations in America with, with spoken word and creative writing. And he, uh, he talked about this uh, a Navajo elder being asked by his grandson. Uh, Granddad, what do I do if I'm lost in the forest? And of course, it was a kind of life or death question. You know, forests were to be dangerous places. They were full of wolves and bears. But it was using it as a bigger metaphor for, you know, what do we do? What do I do if I can't see the wood for the trees? What do I do if I don't know what what's the next step? I don't have a picture. And uh, the old man said, "Stand still." The trees ahead and bushes beside you are not lost. Wherever you are is called here. So I remember like sitting and, uh, with my two sons and it could not have been more in tune and more in harmony for that very moment. I know everyone is having a very difficult and anxious time but 
for me it was, uh, yeah, it's just, it was golden. So this tune's called Not Lost.
the first tune here is a slip jig that we learnt earlier in the week, um, written by Tom Oakes. Um, and I'm... I can't hear you, James. <laughs> this is a slip jig, um, a slip jig written by Tom Oakes, um, which I think. Um, they're, they're keen that we perform because they like me to say the name, but I'm afraid that the family friendly name for this tune is Sunburn and the Man Flu. Um, so we're going to start off. <laughs> and something else. Um, we're going to start off with a slip jig and then we're going to move into. So, yesterday I took quite a traditional Irish dance tune, a fling, um, which we thought would be great to get you all to get up and have a dance too if you'd like to you're very welcome i'm not quite sure what we did to it today but it's kind of not very traditional sound anymore at all but, um, but we hope you enjoy our arrangement <coughs> 